don't get it. I have been afraid of my father my whole life. I spent every waking moment trying to keep him from exploding. Trying to do everything just right. Not just believing, but knowing that one day he would kill me. That he'd kill us all. My first memory is the day my brother spilled a can of paint down the stairs. My parents were painting the house, and Ricky thought that he was helping, but it was too heavy for him. Paint went flying everywhere. I held my breath. I don't know why I thought that would help. My father put his fist through the wall. I screamed, Ricky and I started crying, and the whole time they... The whole time he just kept yelling at us to stop crying. I couldn't. I thought that he was going to kill us both. And my mother couldn't stop it. I was just four years old. Ricky was two. We've been looking at that hole in the wall ever since. So no, I can't forgive him. I won't pretend. So go on reading Footprints in the Sand if it'll make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Because today, my father's going in the ground. Except that I don't remember having a father. Because a father wouldn't do that to his kids. I want to stop. I really do. And I'm trying. But I don't think you understand. A fire is the most beautiful thing ever created. I dare you to show me a work of art that can rival a five alarm fire. You couldn't do it. You just couldn't. And I like art as much as the next person. But I always wonder when I see a Van Gogh or a Rembrandt, I imagine, as I'm sure you do, what it would look like on fire. The second before the painting caves in. But sadly, I don't think any of us will live to see it. Sure, we could burn prints, I suppose. Cheap gift store prints, but it'd be just paper. No melting paint. No disintegrating wood. It's a waste.